Hey beloved, welcome back to my channel. This is day two of Vlogmas. I am really trying to do this. I am going to do it. I repeat, I am going to vlog for 12 days straight. I am sharing the gift of Christ. I'm unwrapping the gift of Christ for this Vlogmas, 12 days of Christmas. So I'm unwrapping Christ and I'm sharing a few of my favorite, favorite things. And I want to, yesterday I shared about him, be, his name being wonderful. Today I want to talk about him being the counselor and what that means. And if you don't know, I would like you to answer my questions, share your favorite things, listen for what I share is my favorite thing, and then share your favorite thing at the end of this video and answer the questions to be entered to win. Whoever can get to the end of my 12 days and answer every question, I will send a video, I mean, I will send a um, electronic gift card, Amazon or Starbucks, whichever one is your, you want. So let's get on with this. For unto us a, ch a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That's Isaiah 9 verse 6. So we're talking about counselor today. The Holy Spirit is our counselor and he is our comforter and he is our guide. Jesus went to the Father so that he could send the Holy Spirit, so that the Holy Spirit could come to be our counselor, to be our comforter, to be our guide, to be our teacher, to simultaneously yet individually and uniquely minister to each one of God's children who are called by his name. What do I mean by that? I mean that the Holy Spirit will speak one word to the church. So when you hear about prophetic words and things like that, and God is saying something to his church, he's saying that simultaneously. People are picking up in the spirit, intercessors are picking things up, and we're hearing the same word. We're here, we may be coming out a little bit different by different people with different angles, but God speaks to his church, to his body. But then he yet individually speaks to his children to direct instruct and correct them he will direct you in the way that you should go he will instruct you and teach you what you should do and then he will correct you the bible says that he counsels us with his eye and so when jesus ascended and he left the holy spirit came and so when he came it says john 14 26 says but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father shall send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring things to your remembrance whatsoever i have said unto you so he teaches us it says that the bible says that no man needs to teach you but the holy spirit will teach you all things and so of course we have teachers but I think that that means for me, what I have come to know that as is that people confirm. And of course, the people can teach you what you don't know. But when it comes to you personally, the people confirm what the Holy Spirit is saying to you or the Holy Spirit will confirm what someone says to you or vice versa. Somebody will confirm what Holy Spirit has said to you. And so he is the counselor he guides us he directs us as he corrects us and when jesus came he came as the man he came as a baby he was born into the world but one of the things that he was sent the son was sent so that we could have the counselor so that we could have the holy spirit the guide living on us and the holy spirit is our down payment until the fullness of the purchase possession is given is received is fulfilled and so we have the holy spirit inside of us that also bears witness with us that's another thing that the counselor does that we are the children of god and so uh, let me know how the Lord by his Holy Spirit has comforted you, has counseled you in this season, in 2020, in this 
pandemic and in this Christmas season? Have you sought the counsel of the Lord? Because we plan our ways, but the Lord orders our steps. And so when we seek God's counsel, when we inquire of the Lord, the Bible says that David inquired of the Lord. So he sought God's counsel and we can inquire of the Lord and the Holy Spirit will reveal things to us before they are to ha happen through dreams, through visions, through confirmations, through words of knowledge, through people coming through physical things that will come, maybe a letter or a phone call or something like that, a knowing. So he counsels us, he confirms things to us. And so let me know how you have experienced him as counselor. Now onto my favorite thing, um, Christmas carols. This is not a Christmas carol, but it is a Christmas song and it is one of my favorites. My children, when they were young, they used to, we used to play this on repeat. They do not do repeat. I'm a person who can listen to the same song, not even a whole, what is it called, um, uh, album. I can listen to the whole, to one song over and over and over again. My kids hated it when they were younger. But that being said, um, they didn't mind this one. And this song is so old. Um, it's not super old, but it was out when they were in high school, 2009. And it's still a favorite of mine, high school and middle school. And it's called Winter Snow. It's by Chris Tumlin. And uh, it features Audrey Assad. I'm gonna just share a little bit of it with you because it's so beautiful could have come like a mighty storm with all the strength of a hurricane. You could have come like a forest fire with the power of heaven in your flame, but you came like a winter snow, quiet and soft and slow, falling from the sky in the night to the earth below. That's my favorite part. You could have swept in like a tidal wave or an ocean to ravish our hearts. You could have come through like a roaring flood to wipe away the things he we've scarred but you came like a winter snow yet you did you were quiet you were soft and slow falling from the sky in the night to the earth below oh no your voice wasn't in a bush burning no your voice wasn't in a rushing wind it was still it was small it was hidden oh you came like a winter snow quiet and soft and slow falling from the sky in the night to the earth below falling oh yeah to the earth below you came falling from the sky in the night to the earth below but he sings it so beautifully and so let me know what your favorite song christmas song or christmas carol is and how you have um, experienced holy spirit as your counselor in the comments below day two done